washing, I see we're looking for it. Go wash Slightly <laughs> seven, yes. There you go. Uh, there you go, right, Tess. Uh, well, Tess, you've got to the end of the show. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm able. I'm on a quick. Okay, fast. I'm going. I'm going back. I'm going to have fun. Gosh, she's gorgeous. That Tess. Gorgeous. Day. We'll be seeing how gorgeous Tess gets on later on in the show. But right now, let's see a clip of our very first guest of Saturday Bedrock. Here's CITV's Daniel Nichols getting mad for it with Hepburn. Okay. I'm here with Jamie, Lisa, Sarah and Tasha. They are better known as the fantastic pop sensation Hepburn. They're going to be helping me out. They're going to hit this high timer to take a look at that. See how high he goes. They've got to see what the highest score is they can get. You've been calling in, guessing what you think it is. Well, now it's time for the moment of truth. Now, the girls, you've nominated Jamie, haven't you? Yeah. Me. They've nominated me. <laughs> Why is that? Is that because you're the strongest? Well, it's because I broke a handle yesterday on the front door. Serious? Now, yeah, now they think that guy got power as a superwoman. Do you know what? She is tiny, but I have to say, I am scared of her. It's time for Hide of Your Might! Come on, Jamie, in three, two, one, hit it! Oh, you're two, now I'm three! Give me two! Okay, okay, well, a big welcome um, to Bedrock for the presenter of the excellent new series, Mad For It. It's Danielle Nichols. Hi, Danielle. Hi, Thank Ray. you very much for coming in. You're very welcome. It's great to have you here. Um, I knew you had a terrible journey coming in. Yeah. I what happened? Go on. <laughs> well, I got on the train to come here, and uh, the train stopped at Coventry, and they said, everyone, get off. So I got off, and there's this, like, no old conductor guy walking down the station. I said, what's going on? He said, well, where are you trying to get to? I said, London. He said, oh, you won't get to London today. <laughs> I said, you are? He said, no, no. He said, uh, what for junctions on fire or something? Oh, <laughs> my like, God. So how did how you make much it? bad luck can you get? Oh, this is terrible. How did you make it down? Um, got in a cab. That's oh, exactly. Shop, why not? <laughs> Just a black cab. <laughs> Excellent. OK, well, we have just seen the clip of your new show, Mad Fred. Yeah. Yeah, and for anyone who hasn't seen us, give us the 10-second pitch. It's absolutely fantastic. No, it's a, it's a gungy show with loads of games, absolutely crazy. It's um, people just making a fool of themselves. And guess what? I do it the best. <laughs> Excellent. Fantastic. Well, we saw you just there in the clip. You're also with the Hepburn Girls, yep. who are supposed to be coming on Bedrock next week. Oh, yeah. So warn us in advance. Who's the naughtiest? Well, they're all really, they're really quiet. Yeah? But, yeah. They were quite well behaved, which are like rock groups. She expected yeah. to be a bit. But, yeah, Jamie's the loudest of them. Ah. And uh, the drummer, the new drummer, is she called uh, Tasha? Uh, Tasha, yeah. Yeah? Me. She's lovely. She was nice oh, for me as well. Brilliant. But the other two are quite quiet. Didn't really oh, say Oh, well, we'll watch out for that. The quiet ones are always the ones you've got to watch yeah. and see. Just because I'm so noisy, you see. <laughs> you get away with it yeah, anyways. <laughs> <laughs> well, on Mudford, you do this gunging thing, which is fantastic, yeah? and you gunge the kids. Has anyone gunged you yet? Not yet. But no. I want to be gunged. Do you really? I want to, yeah. Have you not seen it at the end? There's, like, this big nose and like this green snot stuff comes out of the nose. I just, and the kids just go, it's like, cause you know like when, well, do you know like when you've shot with something? Yeah, it just yeah. goes Poof, like that, all the kids are going. Oh, wow. I just, I want to do that. They have all little goggles on and yeah, I want to be in there. You be into that? I want to be covered in snot. Oh, good enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well you also do all the links for CITV. So what do you do when the programs are on? I've always wondered it. That's a secret. I no, know, you, you know what we do at the front, no, we, um, we just have a chat, have a cup of tea, Sit and watch, it. watch a bit of the show, rehearse the next thing. Oh. It's not, it's all quite, that's quite quite boring answer, isn't it, really, but that, yeah. that's what we and do. And what's your favourite CITV programme, then? Um, I think I like Hey Arnold, the cartoon Hey Arnold, and I like SMTV because I love Oh, we love it. <laughs> yes, I was, I was talking to them just this morning. Oh, yes. <laughs> no, they're lovely. They're fantastic. They're so funny. Oh. I think they're so talented. They're, so, they're just yeah, hysterical. They're good guys. Yeah. Very yeah. good guys. OK, well, we have an email question here for you, and it's from James okay. in Birmingham. It wants to know if it's true that you're going out with Aston Villa footy player Lee Henry. <laughs> you got my secret. Uh, no, it's true. Yeah, I am. Yeah? I'm very much in love. Oh, you're <laughs> in love. Lovely. That's sickening, that, isn't it? Well, um, tell us, if, where did you meet, actually? We met at the radio cafe that opened in Birmingham. Mm -hmm. uh, they opened one for BR&B, &B and uh, we met there. Um, and I'd, he knew who I was, but I didn't know who he was. I just thought he was really oh, yummy. Nice. And I was like, mm, who are you? Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> and, he was, and then he told me who he was. I didn't believe him. Yeah. It wasn't until the second date that I actually believed who he was. Oh, wow. I, I can't, no, he can't so be good-looking, he can't be funny, he can't be chatty. And 
and also be very rich. Like, that can't be possible! <laughs> Excellent. Well, listen, Danielle, it's been fantastic talking to you. You're going to stick around for the rest of the show, though, aren't yes, you? Yes, I am. Absolutely. But now it's time for the ever-wonderful, fantastic karaoke kiss. Come on, <laughs> The wait is over, because it's time, and it's back. One girl wants to go out on a date with a great-looking guy. And three eager hunks are waiting for her to call. And how does she choose between them? Well, basically, they sing her a song. Yep, it's time for our unmissable dating game, Karaoke Kiss. And here are the gentlemen that are about to do the picking for our young lady next door. So let's find out a little bit more about them. Guys, welcome to Bedrock. Uh, thanks for joining us. We'll start off with you down there, Lloyd. How are you doing? I'm all right, thank you. You up for a good sing-song, Lloyd? I am, I Fantastic. Am. Now, who are you going to be for us? I'm going to be Robbie Williams. Ah, the robster. What made you choose our Robbie? Um, I chose that because I want Hannah to be my angel tonight. Ah, I'm sure she certainly will. Best of luck to you, Lloyd. You. you sound like you're up for it. Uh, Tashkent, how are you doing, mate? I'm fine. You up for a good sing-song? Yep. You ready for this? Tell us who you're going to be. I'm going to be B King. Ah, why are you going to be B, B King? Why are you going to be the godfather of soul? Because I'm, I'm, I'm in a soulful vibe and I plan to make Hannah my queen. <laughs> Respect! <laughs> cool, Tashkin, keeping it real in the karaoke kiss hall. Aye. It's great to have you here. Uh, best of luck. And finally, Tim, how are you doing? I'm, uh, I'm great, thanks. Good. And who are you going to be for us? Tonight I'm going to be Lou Baker. Ah, Mr Baker. What made you choose Mr Baker? Because uh, I'd love to be Hannah's Latin lover. And I'm sure you will. There you go. They're our boys. It looks like the guys are ready and waiting to get going. So right now it's time for us to join our karaoke queen who's next door with our Hev. OK, I've been joined here by the lovely Hannah, our very first karaoke kisser of the new series. Hannah, welcome to Bedrock. Thanks. Thanks for joining us. Are you excited? Yeah. Good, well, you're looking lovely, it has to be said. Now, first things first, before we go on, I do need to confirm that you are indeed footloose and fancy free. Yes, I am. Is this absolutely true? Yeah. <laughs> Fine, let's get on then. So whose songs get you going? Um, Robbie Williams. You like? Oh, you like Robbie? Yeah. Uh, why do you like Robbie? He's really sexy. He's very sexy. Really He's got good. a great voice, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah. Very nice. And who has you reaching for the earplugs? Westlife. Oh, you don't like Westlife? No. <laughs> no way. OK, well, listen, let me tell you, Ben's already met the guys and they're raring to get going. Are you ready for some vocal seduction? I think so, yeah. OK, <laughs> then. Right, let's get going and pass it over to the man in charge of the mic, our very own MC Karaoke. Thank you very much, Heather. It is a particularly excited atmosphere here in the karaoke uh, <laughs> sofa room, the first karaoke kiss of a Saturday. It is my uh, auspicious task to introduce our amassed audience here in the sofa room today. I start off with the gorgeous Danny Nichols from CITV has joined us. Daniel, thanks for coming in. Musical, <laughs> musical, <laughs> musical. Don't worry, guys. Fire up. Musical expertise in the form of uh, the Rickster, Adam Ricketts. <laughs> Our brand new video clerk, Bruce, is here to give us a yeah. yeah. Our games padding genius, Lucy, is here. Oh. Don John of Regis has joined us for yeah. some big yeah. rap. Yeah. Scott's freshly tinted highlights are here. Yeah. And of course, my lovely housemates, Neil and Rachel, down at the front. Okay. First up, we have our first singer, Robbie Williams. Robbie, if you'd like to step up to the microphone, please welcome him to the microphone, everybody. Yeah. Mr. Williams, can you tell us what you're going to be singing for us? I'm going to be singing Robbie Williams' Let Me Entertain You. Wonderful. Uh, it's a great tune. I'm sure you will. Now, remember, the only things to remember are the love buzzer is your signal to start, the second buzzer is your signal to stop. Hannah next door can hear you, but she can't see you, so just enjoy yourself. Are you ready? Yeah. OK, let's bring that noise. Hell is gone and heaven is here. There's nothing left for you to fear. Shake your ass, come on over here. Now scream. I'm a burning effigy or everything else you used to be. You're my rock of empathy, my dear. So come on, let me entertain you. Yeah. Mr. Williams, thank you very much. Uh, despite, despite our rhythmically challenged panel, uh, <laughs> I thought you did really, really well. There you go. Our next performer is the Sultan of Soul, Mr. Ben E. King. Please welcome Benny to the microphone. So, uh, Benny, what are you going to be singing for us? Stand By Me. Stand By Me. Uh, OK, it's a, it's a lovely song. Remember, Hannah next door can hear you. She can't see you. The love buzz is going to start. Are you ready? Yep. Let's bring that noise. When the night has come <laughs> And the land is dark And the moon is the only light we'll see 
No, I won't be afraid. No, I won't be afraid. Just as long as you stand, stand by me. There you go, Benny King. Benny King meets Ali G right here. That was fantastic. Stand by me. Where, where else could you find talent like that? Okay, our last singer, but by no means our least, is Mr. Lou Vega. Please welcome Mr. Vega to the microphone. Particularly high standards been set, Mr. Baker. Tell us what you're going to be singing. Mamba number five tonight. Lovely. It's a song very close to my heart, as some people may well know. Uh, remember, Hannah next door can hear, but she can't see you. The signal to start is I love buzzer. The second buzzer is your signal to stop. Are you ready there? I am, indeedy. Bring the noise. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mambo number five. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Everybody in the car say, come on, let's fly. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of Erica by my side. A little bit of Tina's all I need. A little bit of Rita's what I see. A little bit of Sandra in the sun. A little bit of... That was uh, Lou Baker's remixed version for Karaoke Kiss of Mambo number no. five. Uh, unfortunately, we've had all our singers, all, all three of you have done particularly well, as I'm sure the gang will agree. Unfortunately, that means absolutely nothing because it's what Heather next door thinks that matters. Let's find out. OK, Hannah, you've heard the boys. What did you think of their renditions? You all right? OK. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty good. I'm sure they were getting quite a lot of applause next door, yeah. so maybe they were dancing or something. But listen, it's time for you to choose your date for tonight. Who's hit the right note? Was it your favourite Robbie Williams? Is it going to be Ben E. King? Or are you going to go for member number five, Mr. Louis Baker? It's got to be Robbie Williams. Robbie Sorry. Williams! Yay! Good choice, I'm sure. Okay, well, listen, let's not prolong this any longer. It's time for Ben to introduce your karaoke king. All right then, Hannah, you've heard him sing, but now it's time for you to meet your crooner in the flesh. Hannah, meet Lloyd. Let's bring him in in three, in two, in one. In you come, Lloydie. Okay, Lloyd, meet Hannah. Hannah, meet Lloyd. Now, of course, it's the moment that we've all been waiting for. It's the moment made for two, so we're going to not hang around, don't we? We're going to we? leave you to it. Yes. Lloyd, no. say your piece and get stuck in. It's the first one. Let's make it special. Absolutely. Come on, Heather. Hannah, I've been Robbie Williams tonight for you, and tonight I want you to be Give Me Your Kiss. <laughs> How wonderful is that? A, a double header to kick us off. That was uh, a great Gary Kiss start off with uh, Hard Luck Guys. Uh, you yeah. all did brilliantly. Yeah. 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 Adam, what do you think of the lads' uh, vocal expertise? Yeah, form, fantastic. Form, yeah. yeah. <laughs> particularly fun. Well done to everybody. That was brilliant. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Um, well, take a deep breath because this is only the beginning. Uh, the next after the break, we'll be chatting with Adam uh, and the lads from Point Break are on their way, we hope. Yeah. And I'll let you in on all the secrets I find out behind closed doors at SMTV Live this yeah. morning. The lovely Lucy and I will be giving you an exclusive preview of the real-time combat droid game, Metal Fatigue. OK, Neil, do it. You're watching television. You know you're watching ITV2. And where are we? Joke. And I have to ask you too, did you see Posh Spice on the programme the other day? I did. Victoria's Secrets. Yes. Yeah. Oh, unbelievable, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it was pretty unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. No, listen, I know you've got a thing about footballers, <laughs> don't you? <laughs> yeah. what, what do you think, what do you think of David Beckham? I think he's absolutely yummy. I think really? he's so gorgeous. See, I think he is, but until he opens his mouth. Let's hope that my boyfriend isn't watching. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, anyway, coming up, Rachel and I see which of the three hunky lads from Point Break fans you snog. And we'll be giving you the chance to win a brilliant prize in our all new singing dancing competition, Who's Groove? Oh, I can't wait for that. But first, here's a taster of the very tasty guy who's about to chat to our mate, Ben. Tonight. 
Yeah. Obviously, that was Adam Rickett with his great new yeah. single, Best Thing. And guess what? The Rickster's here with Hello. you now, Adam. Uh, welcome back to Bed. Cheers for having me back. back with us. Um, how you doing? I'm all right. Been bit. up early, though. Yeah, we did SMTV, so a little bit tired. Did you bump into Rachel? Because she was down there as I well. I didn't know. I just crawled into my pit, to be honest, and just lay there comatose. Well, because th that's quite interesting, talking about your pit, because uh, oh, no. we were told that we could go anywhere apart from the dressing rooms. Really? Yeah. So what, ta we wondered what was going on in the dressing rooms? Not a lot. They're about the size of a shoe shop. So, well, a small shoe shop. A small shop. shoe shop. <laughs> in a shoe box, because no, I've been yeah. in some big shoe shops. No, shop. just everyone just chills out and just like tries to learn the dance routines, because I don't know mine. <laughs> so you just sort of like. It's all that backstage bit. rehearsal game. Yeah, I mean, I actually, just going to snog Daphne and Celeste as well. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, I'm joking. You liar. <laughs> oh, you know, you're in the Uchi Koo and all that. <laughs> uh, now, we were told uh, that. Um, that obviously we could go in and 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 Anton mm. Deck were there with Rachel and stuff. She didn't unfortunately get a chance to ta chat to Cat. But what are they like? Are they They're good actually like? really sweet. All of them. Who's the rudest? Who's the rudest? Um, probably actually the producer Simon. Really? Yeah, he's a naughty boy. <laughs> really? But Tell no. us more. No, no, they're all lovely. Can't say anything more. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, they are. I mean, Cat and I uh, mean, I've done it quite a few times with them lot now. I know, like presented one in the summer. And he did Was that a good fun? Did you enjoy that? I did. I mean, that's really good laugh. It's live TV. I mean, you'll know. Yeah. It's hectic. But it did is... you do it from SMTV through CD UK as well? Yeah. So it's a long old morning. Yeah, it really is. Long. So you sort of quite drained by the end of it. But you charged all the way through. Yeah. Now, oh, we've just seen your video, Best Thing. Mm -hmm. um, what, who's it about? Um, it's about sort of finding your ideal soulmate. But well, I actually wrote it about City going up to the Premiership. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the no. best romantic songs are written about football, let's face it. But no, it was about sort of finding your soulmate, like that moment you walk down the street and you've known her, say, all your life because she's your mate, but then suddenly you see her and you see her in a different light completely. Mm. And you just know that's the one you want to spend the rest of your life with. Well, because your first video was quite raunchy, but I think yes. you managed to top that with this one. This really was raunchy. I'd imagine it was quite a laugh making it. It was bizarre, because um, all I was told was that they were going to do a club scene, and there's going to be loads of dancing, and then the director... So you don't, don't tell me you don't have a hand in saying no, who's I got didn't. what's on, and no, what I didn't. goes the director, where, and who touches what. He went round all the... Sorry? <laughs> he went round all the extras, and he said to them, like, I want you to do this, and do this, and really? do that. So I didn't know what was going to happen. Like, me getting yanked into the bath in the video, I didn't know anything about it. So you had to like edit it, you had me swearing all the time, <laughs> trying to be like, what are you doing? Get up! Um, but no, it was really, it was like a long day, but really good fun. When you do that, are you tempted to put your mates in the videos? Because they're yeah. great fun and stuff. Do you get a chance to do that? Um, no, they, didn't. they tried it. Well, they were going to try having my brothers in it. Hmm. Um, but they just heard me on the phone one time getting really excited, like, bring loads of beer. <laughs> <laughs> so ah, they, stop that so right yes, now. you're not doing that, Adam. Now, uh, what have you been doing since your last visit of September? Um, we've been doing loads, we've been doing loads of sort of ground potions because we're off to Southeast Asia and Europe this year because uh, the music's just gone mad. Over really? There. Yeah. That's fantastic, isn't I mean, it? I didn't know. Um, the record could be talking about like two number ones out in Thailand or something. And you didn't know? No. It's not a nice thing to let you know, I isn't know. it? I know, and they've made like a doll of <laughs> The Adam Rickett doll. Yes, there's a doll of Does me. it look like you? I've not seen it. Have you not? Thank God. When will we be able to get um, our mitts on it? I'd hopefully never. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of praying. Well, we'll have to look forward to that. I think we've got, um, am I right, we've got a telegram for Adam? Oh. Yeah, come on, come on in. <coughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. You're a lucky girl. Yeah, yuck it up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Adam. All right, geez. <laughs> yeah, lovely. Cheers. Uh, <laughs> I'm a gorilla gram for Adam Rickett. He's got a nice nose, Ben like to pick it. I've got a challenge, you'll win a cup. Can you do a one-armed presser? <laughs> oh, oh from no. the man in the suit. Uh, there's the challenge from the gorilla. Got to do it uh, if you can do it, favour camera oh. number one, so head back. Is that in. you? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, let's the big see. one off. Please, there you go, there's oh. Jamal. Let's see how good he is. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, indeed, oh, 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 uh, oh, 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 uh, Then off you go back to your junglist massive, please, Gorilla. That was uh, <laughs> a talent uh, never to be shared again, I hope. Uh, there you go. Well, that's fantastic. Now, Thank you. one quick thing that we had was during the video, we noticed that there's that a, a particularly nice young lady draws her yes. phone number on your chest. And I know that Rachel's got something that she wants to ask. Come in, Rach, in you come. She wants something she wants to ask. <laughs> Well, no, it's purely in the interest of scientific research. I don't believe that it would actually work if someone was to write your phone number on your chest. So purely for scientific reasons yes. only. Um, I was going to try it. So, <laughs> go on, let Rach put her phone number. T-shirt. You can do it on my T-shirt. No, no, no. I'm not taking the T-shirt. No, no, no. Not the T-shirt. No. I can't. We might work on yes, my Yes, I'll put it on your arm, actually. That's a good one. Well, 
why they share this very special moment. Um, it's been great talking to you, Adam. You're going to stick around, aren't you? Sorry, yes. Fantastic. There you go. <laughs> but right now, uh, we you can catch up with Danielle Nichols wrestling with sure, the Bedrock no, no. Gorilla later on, but right now it's this. Like that, welcome to the new extra powerful Bedrock Games Pad. I am joined by the only girl who can give Lara Croft a run for her money. It's Lucy Porter. Oh, Lucy, bless you. welcome Very back nice. to the new year. Oh. My new Games Pad. How are you? I liked you in the gorilla suit. Thank That's you. A good have look you... for you. Yeah, I thought so. Um, I've still got bits of fluff on me. Uh, have you uh, ever been tempted to go into the world of singing telegrams? Voice like nails down a blackboard, unfortunately. That's my kind of voice. Yeah. Uh, OK, uh, we've got to move on to the games pad. We've got two excellent exclusives. There's more Gorilla Fluff, by the way. Uh, we'll be auctioning that off later uh, in one of our competitions. No, we won't. Uh, <laughs> let's get cracking with our rundown of the big five news stories in the 5-bit game news. OK, uh, what's number one, Lucy? Bit number one is that Nintendo started to fight back in the War of the Consoles. Yeah. They've got a new console, which is going to be the Dolphin. Strange Let's. name. Oh, I think it's Could have called it Flipper, so maybe Dolphin's better. Yeah, it's nice. Uh, and so what, that should be what? available by the end of the year. By the end of the year, just for Christmas, yeah. you reckon? Well, hopefully. Let's hope so, with no hiccups. OK, what's uh, bit two? Bit two is that Austin Powers is set to make his video game debut. I wonder how much that game cost. One million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Handy prop. Um, yeah. Uh, and uh, any, probably any on the PlayStation. PlayStation. Yeah, yeah. yeah that would be good. Groove, eh? Yeah, uh, number three, baby. please, Lucy. Number three is that LucasArts are going to release a game for the PlayStation mm. called Jedi Power Battles. Cool! So all you what young boys will be very excited. You, yeah. Basically, you uh, fight as loads of different Jedis, and it's like got 3D kind of amazing landscape. Not, going on. not at all excited about that one. <laughs> uh, what's uh, number four, please? <laughs> number four is um, Easter. It's probably when the Tomb Raider on the colour Game Boy is going to be released. Oh, cool. So you'll Look have a little Lara Croft. Uh, and finally, number five? Nice. Number five is you can now don download the first online Dreamcast game oh. uh, for your PC. It's called, called Sega Swirl. Sega Swirl. Sega Swirl, and you can find it at www www.segaswell.com. Superb, that's and very good. It, that was indeed the five bit game news. Thanks, yeah. Lucy. Uh, now, Lucy, do you like big things? Do you know I do? Ah, uh, good, because yeah. it's time for Big Ben and the Big Game. <laughs> There you go. Thank you very much, Neil. Now, I've been joined by Martin and Alison. Guys, thank you very much for coming on the show. Uh, before we get stuck into the big game, tell us, uh, Alison, what console have you got at home? Um, PlayStation. PlayStation like this. Martin? Yeah, I'm the same. PlayStation. PlayStation of Freens. Yes. Uh, and tell us, what games have you brought in? I brought in Grand Theft Auto. And uh, I brought in Tekken 3. Right, potentially, these are the games they brought uh, most recently. Potentially, if they like our big game, they could swap it at the end of this section, but we'll have to find out. Now, our big game this week is the sequel. Uh, it's Vigilante 8 Second Defence, which comes out this weekend. Guys, are you ready to start? Certainly are. Okay, let's go for it uh, and uh, kick off and have a go. That's fantastic. Now, it's set in the 1970s, so there's loads of afros and funky music, but you can also time travel and collect amazing weapons and flying cars. Now, what you can do during the game is you can set up missions. You can either be the good guys and go and save the stolen cash, or you can be the baddies and go and steal all the stolen cash. And as you can see from the, uh, from the action that the two guys are playing, they're playing in cooperative mode, so they're playing as a team, and they've got to try and find the baddies and do everything they can to try and destroy the baddies' vehicles. So guys, I'll just stop you there. Uh, Alison, what's the best bit about the game? Best bit is the fact that two of you can play at the same time, which is on great. On the same team. On that the sort same of cooperative team. thing doesn't happen very often, does it? Never. No. It's really good. And Martin, what's the worst bit? Uh, the worst bit is the graphics. The graphics ain't that great, so... It's quite hard to control as well and get used yeah. to where the guns are coming from and that sort well, of thing. Well, that's it. You're not really sure what, what you're getting here and there, like, over the game, so it's a bit difficult to play at the start, so... Cool. OK. The big question is, are you willing to swap both Grand Theft Auto and Tekken 3 for our copy of Vigilante 8, the second offensive? No, 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 no definitely not. Either. OK, well, there you go. You can no. hold on to those games. However, I still have to ask you, is it Bedrock approved? It's yeah. pretty good. Yeah, it's really good. You need a while to get into it, but it, once you've got there, it is good fun, yes. Cool, well, there you go. So that's uh, Vigilante 8 is approved, although it's not good enough to swap with Grand Theft Auto and Tekken 3. Thanks very much for your adventure skills, guys. Thanks for coming. That's well, brilliant. Uh, now let's have more exclusives from Neil and the lovely Lucy. Yeah, thanks, Ben. Uh, thanks, Ben. Uh, right, Lucy, what have we got in Easy PC? Easy PC, well, we've got... It's red hot. It's it? exclusive. Right. Uh, very exciting. Like. 
and it's called Metal Fatigue, which right. is a new, uh, obviously, PC game. Right. We can see a bit of it here. This is a, we've got a demo version because it's so exclusive. It is, this is so hot, actually, that this is a demo disc that we've got loading up on the PC here. Um, and we can't play it properly. It's, it's not coming out for months and months and months, and so it's quite exciting that we've got this footage. Um, Probably about two months. So tell us what the game's about. What kind of game is it? It's basically, it's a sort of um, strategy game, mm. and uh, you get to design your own warrior. Okay. And uh, then travel through the universe, as you can see, amazing graphics. Okay. And uh, wipe out other fleets. Now, basically. this currently is, a, is, a, is cut footage from the game when it's finished, um, but here we've actually got some video footage that the people sent us um, of how you'd play the game. There we go. It looks a bit like the kind of Tiberian Sun, you know, conquer. Total annihilation, yeah, that, that kind of... You, know, you sort of you, you, you type, use yeah. your combots, I think they're called, yes. and they sort of take over the world. But these graphics are amazing. Um, look at that. It does. It's it's that's so cool. a scary big fella, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's great graphics. But I have to ask you, we've got a long wait before this comes out. It is exclusive. Uh, what do you think is going to be the best thing about it? Well, the best thing does look to be the uh, the graphics. The warriors themselves look fantastic. Um, amazing gameplay they're promising. It's absolutely, incredible. yeah. Okay, what about the worst bit, please, Lucy? Well, I mean, it's similar to a lot of other games, as yeah. we mentioned. So, you know. Maybe I'll maybe have the edge. You never know. The, above the crop. Okay, uh, but the most important question for the new year. Is it Bedrock approved? I think we can say a tentative yes. A tentative yes. Yes. Yeah. And we'll update you on that in two months' time we'll when that comes out. Uh, that is Metal Fatigue, otherwise known as Rust. Uh, you saw it here. Lucy, thanks for sharing your games pad expertise with me. It has been a pleasure talking to you again. It has been a pleasure. Will you come back next week? Well. Good. That's lovely, something to look forward to. Uh, we'll leave you now with another UK exclusive. It's a PC game called Beetle Crazy. You can drive any of VW family from any part of its history over a massive range of terrains. It's out in a month. Let's look at it. Boom, boom. Welcome to Ready or Not, where we get the top fashion tips of some friends dressing up for a big Saturday night out. And today, of course, we've got Vicky and Laura. Thanks for coming in, both of you. It's lovely to have you here. Now, first of all, I have to ask you, how long do you know each other? Well, our mums are cousins, so um, like we've grown up together. Yeah, yeah. So you've been friends since you were really small. Yeah. Oh, lovely. And do you help each other out with clothes? Do you borrow each other's and go shopping together? Yeah, and all we do. Yeah, it's okay. like... We've grown up together for like for quite a long time, so we go out together and we go like shopping and stuff. So it's, it's really good. And where is it that you go next tonight? West One, it's in Hertfordshire. Oh, and I've, is there anyone there particular that you want to see or? Well, um, hopefully my boyfriend will bring, bring someone along with his mates, so maybe I'll day. set Laura up with someone. I'll find it. Oh, very exciting. <laughs> What's your boyfriend like? Is he nice? Yeah. Yeah, he's a nice yeah, guy. What yeah, does he set you? Lovely. <laughs> um, and, Tell me, how long does it, would it usually take you to get ready to go out, would you say? Um, well, sometimes yeah. it takes us quite a long time because like, yeah. we chat and stuff. But it will take us about an hour and a half. That's so. not too bad. Yeah. <laughs> not at all. Well, tell us what each other likes wearing. Like, Vicky, what would you say would look best on Laura? Um, I think she looks best in, like, dresses, like, knee-length stuff. Knee-length skirts mm. and stuff suit her really well. So. Very nice. And Laura, what do you think looks best on well, Vicky? Well, I think she looks nice in glitzy stuff. Like, she likes wearing that. That's her favourite. Oh. Sparky right, stuff. Yeah. yeah, no, I love sparky stuff as well. That's very good. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to have to tell you the ready or not rules. We loan you our posh ITV2 dressing room to get ready in. And afterwards, you talk us through your outfits yeah. and tell us all about them. And that's about it. So how does that sound? That sounds brilliant. brilliant. Okay, don't miss the dressing room. <laughs> okay, well, we'll be seeing how Laura and Vicky get on later. But now it's over to Ben and Heather. <laughs> Straight after the break, we'll be showing you the trailer for the Matt Damon and Drew Barrymore's new animated adventure that hasn't been seen before on British TV anywhere. And there's also a chance to win a fantastic games console. Unfortunately, Scott won't be able to enter, although it doesn't look like he's interest, more interested in his highlights. That's uh, in the funkiest competition on TV, that's uh, Who's Groove. Uh, if you'd like to play, then give us a call right now, 0870 600 6606. That's 0870 600 6606. Calls will be charged at the national rate. And after the break, Scott's going to be telling us about the cosy little chat he had with the lovely Britney Spears this week. Um, do you think you're going to be ready in time, Scott? I'll uh, give me till the break and I'll be fine. Cool, OK. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> <laughs> you're watching television, you're watching ITV2. And we spoil you rotten. You need to fix a bit of the
Welcome back to Bedrock. In a moment, we'll be playing our new competition, Who's Groove? So if you want to win a fab prize, get ready to ring 0870 600 6606. That's 0870 600 6606. But first, we're joined by Point Break. Hooray! Yay. Hooray. Hooray. You've just come all the way from Live and Kicking, haven't you? We have. So yeah. you're a bit late, but how are you? I know it's lovely to have you back because we've not seen you for ages, so you're, you're It's nice to be, it's so relaxed. It here. is, yeah. Yeah. This has got to be the most comfortable set I've ever known in my life. <laughs> yeah, well, make yourselves at home, you know, you can relax. Oh, you know, yeah. You're always up. Listen, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna, you're going to stick around and have a chat with me later on, aren't you? Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Excellent. But first, here is the trailer for the animated feature film Titan AE, which stars the voices of Matt Damon and Drew Barrymore. It's so hot, it's not not even finished yet and this is the first time it's going to be shown on British television. So boys, fancy Drew Barrymore? Yaha. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And are you into animated movies? I love them. Yeah. Love Did you like Toy Story and Bugs? And yeah. I didn't like Pocahontas though because it was sad at the end. Aww. Yeah. Oh, well, that's okay. Good chap. Come Aww. on, let's just play it. I'm dying okay. to see this. Without a planet, we're no longer a threat. Titan AE. Ooh, Whoa, that smooth. looks absolutely fantastic, it doesn't, doesn't it? Just... OK, welcome to our brand new competition, Who's a Groove, where you, the unsupple viewer, get the chance to win this fantastic N64 console and a copy of the brand new game, Toy Story 2. OK, my boys here will be perform part of a well-known pop dance routine, and all you have to do is guess which video it's from. Lower, boys. Lower, keep stretching. Very good, very good. OK, each caller gets one guess. If it's incorrect, he'll have to go straight to the next caller. Harsh, but that's the way I am. Are you ready, boys? Yes, yes. OK, it's keep me. it loose. <clears throat> OK, two, three, four, hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Five, six, six seven, seven, eight. eight. What do we say, Neil? Hi, Mum. And heart and knee and Bob know what's the time. Special time. Who's theirs? Mine. <laughs> Very nice, boys. Very nice. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> Let's go straight to the lines, OK? Caller number one. Hello. Hi, James. How are you? All oh, right, Rachel. Hi, you? James. <laughs> Hi. OK, what do you That's reckon that it is? Now. Um, is it step? Better the devil you know. Oh! Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, let's have a look and see if you're right. Right band. Oh. <laughs> right Wrong band. Song. Wrong song. Wrong song? <laughs> yes. Wrong song. You the song you say you'll be mine. Yeah. See, we have to have standards about our work. However, however, you sound were... very nice. <laughs> yeah, OK. Well, well done, James. Oh, OK, oh, we'll, we'll right. give it to you. You won. <laughs> <laughs> oh, James. <laughs> you won. Me or him? <laughs> you won oh. the N64. Stop. Oh. Heel. OK, you, <laughs> you won the N64. <laughs> and, of course, the wonderful Toy Story game. I have trained my boys well, have I not? Oh, OK, fun. guys. Um, relax, OK. <laughs> <laughs> James, are you chuffed with your prize? I am absolutely flabbergasted. I was on top of the pop the other day, just twice, two, two TV shows. Really? Three days. What? 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 We've, been on, we've been on top of the pops as well. We yeah. have. In no. the background, like, it's all special, you know. <laughs> top of the pops, everyone does top of the pops. We've got friends in the flat that have done top of the pops. Okay, you know, okay. well, they're definitely... <laughs> there you go, okay. Join us next week for more oh, great we routines and prizes. That. It's time for more music, we can do but a little pops. less dance in download. Stay supple. Stay supple. Hey, welcome to Download, where we sit at the cutting edge of pop and bring you regular reports back. But I'd never make it back in one piece without consulting our oracle of music. It's Radio 1 DJ, Scott Mills. Welcome back to Red Rock, Scott. Oh, thank you for having me back. Lovely to have you back. How are you? I'm all right. Good. Have you had a busy week? I've had... The thing is, music industry struggles back to work after Christmas and New Year. Everyone, no. everyone, well, they do, don't they? You know what I mean? It's like, so it's not been the busiest. Uh, right. I interviewed Artful Dodger and also DJ Luck, uh, both going to be... Uh, uh, in the charts yeah, high. Uh, but it must have been quite exciting. It's been fairly... We had Britney Spears on the phone this Britney week. Spears. She couldn't make it in person, but right. we did have her on the phone. And uh, she was just talking about the whole thing. She's going to be in Dawson's Creek oh, right, uh -huh. quite soon. And she's also going to be appearing in The Simpsons. She's going to be showing her midriff off to, her, to Homer Simpson. Wow. So she was telling us all about that. She's got a couple of TV appearances coming up. Okay. Um, working on a new album. And yeah. I, I don't know whether you heard this rumour about Prince William. That she well, 
Oh, indulge wants, me, tell me well, more. There's a weird thing going on where um, he uh, has kind of come across as a fan and said that he's got pictures of her on his walls in the palace. Right. And now uh, she's like, he's kind of cute. And uh, I asked him, I asked her about it, and uh -huh. uh, she said uh, <laughs> next time she's in town, maybe they could hook up for a date. So before you know, it, she's not going to just be the queen of pop. She is going to be the queen, the queen of England. Fantastic. Britney Spears queen. <laughs> okay, well, Britney's new single, I Was Born To Make You Happy, even though if you listen to it, it sounds like boing to make you happy, because you can't say the word born for yeah, some reason. It comes out within a couple of weeks of Christina Aguilera's. Now, who do you think is going to go higher between Christina and Britney? I think Christina would like to, but I know that Britney will. Hey, she's the queen. You seem pretty sure. Yeah, she will. It's okay. got to be done. Well, here is Christina's effort. Let's see if she's in good shape. It's time to check out the story everyone's been making the most noise about and get Scott's spin on it. Now, Patsy Palmer wants to follow Martine and launch a pop career. Unfortunately, though, no record company wants to sign her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what's your spin on that, then, Scott? <laughs> I just think this is a really... I don't Ricky! Know. <laughs> Ricky! The thing is, she's never... Once you've done that kind of soap, it's quite hard to break away from it because mm. you're always going to be Bianca. You know what I mean? It, it, you can't say Patsy Palmer without saying Bianca from EastEnders, even though she's long gone now. Yeah. I mean, Martin McCutcheon's probably only just getting over that as well. Yeah. I think this is a bit of a desperate attempt to grab hold of her yeah. career. She's been a bit busy though recently, hasn't she? Because I think she did Panto and then she's got yeah. a new boyfriend. Yeah. I just expect the baby. Why well, well, can she put a pop in? How can she do that? Exactly. But I don't, I'm not liking the idea of her actually singing. No, me neither. Nah, nah, forget it. No. Anyway, don't do it. Well, we're at, we're at the cutting edge of technology here on Download, and Scott's got an MP3 player he, uh, here for us, and he's going to tell us all about it, aren't you? OK, yeah, well, you can buy what these now. Uh, basically, this is what they call MP3 player. You can buy these in most electrical stores now. And what happens is um, you can download and compile uh, really good quality digital music off of the internet. Wow. And what you do is you have to... Well, the first step is to uh -huh. obtain legal MP3 files. Yeah, it's quite easy, isn't it? Yeah, it's fine. You can get them from internet sites. Uh, just look up the MP3 internet sites. Yeah. Uh, then you download the files with the software that comes with your player. Right. Then all you do is press play on your MP3 player and you've got it. OK, so what are the best MP3s that are available this week for people to download? Well, the best one at the moment, number one in the mp3.com charts, is uh, it's Ghost Machine, and it's a long time forgotten. That's number one at the moment. Right, so can we have a listen? OK. So Hope it's this, this simple then. You Here just we go. Here we go. Press play. Ah, sounds very like Robert Miles. I think you're ugly. It's a little bit Robert Miles-esque. Yes, very much so. But very good. OK, that's enough. All right, stop. Now, what else have you got? Uh, also, um, there's this artist formerly known as... Question mark, which Prince is uh, squiggly, yeah, which is type chappy. number uh, number one in the uh, R&B charts in the okay. MP3 R&B charts, and uh, kind of influenced by symbol. This is called "Sex Is You Wanna Be." Have a listen to this. All right. They all sound quite the same, yeah. don't they? Yeah. Probably exactly the same. OK, then, well, thanks for that, Scott. But before we go, what track is that's coming up in the next few weeks has got you most excited? Um, is there any There's a track on? by... The thing is, that, like I said earlier, there's not that much stuff coming out at the moment that's yeah. exciting me because it's, it's a real slow move back after the new year. But there's a record by Mint Royale called uh, Don't Falter. Oh, yeah, we've had Mint Royale on Bedrock, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they've been on with, the show, With yeah. Lauren, yeah, who used to Lauren be in Kanicki. Um, this is from their third album, which is... A spoof, spoof of a James Bond title called From Rush Home with Love. And yeah. it's really good because it's like a, you know what the weather's like at the moment, it's a really depressing winter, and it's just a yeah. little bit of summer in the middle of winter. Yeah. It's a really nice, happy summer song about being in love. Yeah, cool. Now, I, I listened to Lauren uh, Laverne when she was on Radio 1, she was very good. Yeah, she's really cool. Yeah. She just did the evening session for us for and a while. And she's on Planet Pop as well. Yep, she sure she's is. She's a busy girl. She's all over the place. Well, this is Scott, it's been an absolute pleasure to have you back. Good to be back. Have a good week, Thank you. listen hard, and you come, come back, back with in some a few weeks. Week. Absolutely. Fantastic. But we're going to leave you now with Mint Royale and the gorgeous Lauren Laverne with Don't Falter. The problem is, something with a circumference like that would never get in. No! Hello, uh, <laughs> good afternoon and welcome to the Bedrock Standards Council, the place where safety comes first, second and third. Each week here on the council, we subject three gadgets to a testing process. It's been a long holiday, Neil. It has. Standards have dropped. As ever, we'll be relying on three tests. The Ben and Neil test. That's us. <laughs> the Joe Public test. Uh, that's you. <laughs> and the guest test. That's the guest. <laughs> First off, Ben and I will be testing the Beat Mania. Beats? Mania? Sounds mm. like a good combination to me, Neil. Well, I don't think it sounds very safe, but here we are. Let's go for Beats Mania. 
Now, as you can see, what we have is a little gizmo here. Twist it slightly more, Neil. There you go. <laughs> and perhaps you can see it there. As you can see, the beats drop from the sky. And the idea is to coordinate the buttons with the line of the beat that lands on the machine. And also, what you can do, you have to pitch your scratching skills against the pocket turntables microchips and watch the reggae boy graphic boggle dance. Now, it's it, has been, it has been a long holiday, and Neil can actually demonstrate boggling. Yes, I've got a course in this. Show us. Mala mala humma. Apparently. Where exactly were you on holiday, Neil? Uh, Essex. Oh, right. <laughs> As ever, it's time to examine the interest rate. How long does it keep our interest? Should we start um, that? That was about a minute. A minute, indeed. So, would you say that was a pass or a fail for I'd Beat Mania? That's a fail. That's a fail. It doesn't First have to bogle, this man. Season. There we go. Fail for Beat Mania. Now it's time for our second test, the one we like to call the Joe Public Test. That's you. This week we have the Catch 2 flying device. This is a real exclusive because it's not available for, ooh, another fortnight. It's designed to be more challenging and make you a better athlete, not that you are an athlete. Let's see how it tested. Hi, my name's Danielle Gilbert and I'm a member of the Great British Public. The Bedrock Standard Council have sent me here today to test the future of the Frisbee, the Catch 2. So come on, let's have a go. <laughs> well, it's a lot like Frisbee, but twice the fun. I definitely recommend it. It's a pass. There you go. There a you pass go. That's for, a pass uh, for the um, the catch two flying device. The frisbee for Siamese twins. There we go. Interesting <coughs> game for twins to play. Now it is time for our third examination, the guest test. Joining us this week is Ollie from Point Break. Yay! Hey guys, how are you doing? Hey Ollie, welcome to the Bedrock Standards Council. You have to put these on. Oh really? Uh, yeah, now sorry. before we go any further, uh, it's important that you understand that total seriousness uh, is vital here at the Bedrock Standards Council. Of course. Is that clear? Yes. Good. Wonderful. Okay, Crystal. we can start with this week's guest test. It will be done on the ultimate bass fishing. Ollie, you've seen the ultimate bass fisherman's thing. Yeah, I have. Fish away. There we go. Okay, right. okay now uh, then, Neil, in order to create realism, I think it, uh, we need to make this feel as real as possible. Okay. Spray, sea spray. There you go, and it's a rough day at sea, the wind's blowing. Get him. <laughs> now, this product is very realistic. Neil is a fish, uh, as you're sure you can appreciate. It I also has realistic judders when the bass strike. Um, Ollie, have you have you struck bass yet? Have I struck bass yet? I couldn't strike this. Have you turned it on yet? <laughs> I, I have turned it on, but I'll tell you something. I haven't figured this out one little bit. Not at all. I didn't, to be honest, I didn't end up breaking this after about five minutes. Unfortunately, but, there is no point in breaking the toys. In the boom, boom! <laughs> No, uh, it seems pretty cool. I suppose people. <laughs> Cheers, man. That's I right. suppose people who uh, like fishing would probably get off in the book. But no. you can't work out, Stuart. <laughs> the fundamental rule of games is to know how they work. Yeah. Unfortunately, we can't work this one out, so. Uh, I haven't got a clue. Yeah. <laughs> uh, What's oh. your verdict? Is it a pass or a fail? Uh, it's, unfortunately for me, it's a certain feel. Oh, it's a I certain did. feel? Definitely. Uh, well, yeah, so it's not canny then? It, it isn't canny. It's at uncanny. All. It's uncanny. Yeah, thank you very much, Ollie. Unfortunately. Ollie. Sorry, now, lovely. Um, if you'd you have like to. hand back the glasses now. Place the, and uh, we're about to bring the session to a close, which we cannot do with a non-member present, so we must ask you to go, please. OK. I Thank you. Later, I, I never speak oh. of what you have seen here. Oh, my lips are sealed. Brilliant. Great. <laughs> Can we have that in writing? <laughs> there you go. So there you have it. This week we have approved what, Ben? We have approved this flying device, which splits into two. However, we have rejected both the Beat Mania and the rather appalling Bass Fishing Extreme. It would have been much better if it had been Bass fishing extreme, because you just boom them out of the water, booyaka sha. Um, <laughs> the Bedrock Standards Council will return <laughs> next week, or oh, standards have dropped. Uh, and until such time, and in all things you do, please put safety first, second, and third. Good day. Good day. <laughs> those really worry me, those yes. two. Bit concerned about those boys. But listen, I have to tell you, someone else I'm a bit concerned about is the gorgeous Tess Daly. Now, earlier on the show, about ooh, 45 minutes ago, we sent Tess off in, in, into the wilderness with nothing but a microphone, a smile, and a camera. Because uh, we hey. set her off to go and fetch a mosher, and she sent back this report, so let's see how she's getting on. All right, guys, you sent me out to fetch the best mosher. And I'm doing quite well, actually, because this is who I've found so far. His name is Tree. Yeah, baby. Tree, take it away, show him what you've got. Go on. Oh, yes. 
Ooh, easy, easy tiger. Whoa, not bad, he's pretty good. Nice one, tree. But I still have a little time left, so I might find, or may not, find someone better. Come on! Oh, I can't wait to see what she brings back. Anyway, we've got loads more to come on today's show. Point Break will be telling us how they performed on stage while the speakers were up in flames. We'll be popping in on our brand new sitcom, The Boyle Family. And John Regis, Daniel Nichols, Adam Rickett, Point Break, Lucy Porter and Scott Mills will be running around like lunatics in the return of Pop Around Up. And Neil will be dressing up in a chicken suit. I can't wait. But, before, but anyway, you're watching television, you're watching ITV2. And we're only halfway through. <laughs> Let's show you the money. Terry Walkins, a right lazy get. I mean, you know, presenting. I mean, all he just sits there on his behind doing nout, interviewing people. It's a blooming disgrace. What are you on about, Neil? <laughs> well, I mean, look at him. And that thing on his bunce is obviously a syrup. Nah, it's a money for old rope, this presenting lark. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so what? Uh, you're right. Why don't you change the channel, what? Right? Uh, Why don't you uh, change no. the channel, Neil? <laughs> uh, where, where's, where's the remote? I don't know where the remote is. Mm -hmm. Oh, hang on. Hold up. I think I left it in the kitchen. Adam! Adam! What? Get remote. So what? Why did I put kettle on? <laughs> what? Oh. Put kettle on. <laughs> <laughs> And get me a cloth as well. <laughs> what they like the boy family. Okay, it's time <laughs> to chat to our next guest. Last year they rocked, and now they're standing tough. It's Brett, Ollie, and Declan, better known to us as Point Break. Guys, welcome back to Bedrock. Hello. It's lovely to have you all here again. Now, listen, your fantastic single "Stands Tough" came out on Monday. Yeah. What's the single all about? Well, basically, um, we were um, we, the band had been going for like five years, and after three and a half. We were getting knockback after knockback after knockback, and we just thought, no, nah, we'll come down to London. From record company? Yeah, 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 because we didn't tell anybody we were on Baker Grove. So okay. we came down to London, we thought, no, nah, we're going to get the deal. We stood tough, we got it, and here we are. Hooray! Well, your That's last it. single was brilliant as well, though. Your last single did quite well, didn't it? Did we yeah, yeah, it, it got number, number, number 29. And it was like Christmas Excellent. for us, it was brilliant. Really? Excellent. Now, I hear that your single is doing very, very well in the midweek charts. Where do you, and it's going to chart tomorrow night, obviously. Where are you going to be listening to the radio? We're, back, we're, actually, <laughs> we're actually in the pub around the corner from our house. Yeah. Because we're, gonna, we're having a big... We're going to bring the stereo down there. Yeah, we're going to have a big party. Big party in the house. So yeah. if it goes top ten, how are you going to celebrate? Uh, <laughs> very loudly. By not, being able, <laughs> by not being able to remember the night before. Yeah, uh -huh. Yeah, it's going to be a good night. Yeah. OK, now listen, we've seen the video. Well, I've seen the video and it's fantastic. But in one section of the video, you get drenched by the police manhandling of fire hose. What was that all about? Well, basically, <laughs> the, the idea for the video, we, was, we were having an illegal party. An and illegal so, party? Yeah, and somebody called the cops. You know what, what I mean? How bad is that? But we know okay. who did it. Exactly. Oh, really? So yeah. we're coming looking for you. <laughs> okay, yeah. then, well, let's take a look at the video. Brilliant video, and I have to say, you're all looking quite angst and angry there. What did you do to get yourselves kind of pumped up for it? It was uh, freezing cold. <laughs> <so> <laughs> I didn't how much you're like, oh. <laughs> really? It was and freezing how long... cold, we were tired, we were wet. And so that made us. It's mm. a hard life in a post, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, how difficult was it to learn the dance moves? Very, because really, we're not trained dancers at all. We right. just try and get by on what we can, and what choreographer, she's just wicked, isn't she? Yeah. Get the best right. so, so, what do you prefer the most? Writing the songs, making videos, or doing the publicity? The lot. Everything. 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 Yeah, completely, boys. Now, is it, you did a, ste um, a sellout tour with Steps recently, didn't you? That was cool. What did you think of Neil and Ben's effort of doing Steps dance routine earlier on the show? Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. Steps couldn't have done it better. Such a liar. <laughs> <laughs> and out of the, any of the Steps girls, any of you fancy, you know, Claire or Lisa? All of them. Fair. Fair. All of them. Fair. All of them. quite fit. But what about Claire? She's just split up from, from her boyfriend, you know? Oh, is she? Oh, yeah. Has she? She's not reaching the you, you mean she's single? She is single. See you later. Get it. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I said, we've got an email from uh, Vicky from Reading, and she says, if you could pick any band to tour with, who would you choose? I think we probably have to have to say because next we've met them and they are such good laughs. We're probably next of kin. Definitely. Really? Rock. Yeah, because we've had them on the show as well. They've they actually really got some new material. We've heard it. Right. And it is it's, it's rough. It's mm -hmm. go, it's going it to surprise rough. a hell of a lot of people and they really? are definitely they rock. They okay, really excellent. do. Excellent. Okay. Now listen, uh, like our very own Adam Rickett who's on the show today, you also did the Smash Hits tour. Yes. yes. I want you to dish the dirt. Who is the worst behaved band on Adam. the tour? Adam. Adam. <laughs> <laughs> and who, who were the biggest party animals? Um, well, it was hard to tell because um, we were kind of the last ones to leave the bar most right. nights. So, um, See, we, we had Scooch on the show and apparently yes. they were quite naughty. Yeah. Is that true? Well, well, we set fire to the stage one night. Oh, yeah, I was just That's about to ask you that. You were in Glasgow, weren't you? Yes. What happened? <laughs> That's my hometown. What were you doing? We are, we are pyrotechnics on stage. But what, what are those? The sort of the uh, we, we're the ones that fire up and bang and the ones...